A daring abroad journey of a girl child who was born here in Kogwe village, South Imenti sublocation, Meru County, is just about to begin. A journey that is expected to transform her future for the better. Her name is Elosi Kagwiria, and she'll be flying to Florida State for further studies. So we've come here to escort her all the way to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. It is 7.30 a.m. Elosi's family and friends are all gathered here to witness this rare occasion. In just a couple of hours, Elosi will be airborne. After breakfast, this is an indication the journey is about to begin. Then prayers. Let your road be God over her, Lord. Amen. Amen. And the journey begins. Elosi is one of the beneficiaries of an education airlift initiative run by Florida-based IT consultant Bob Mwiti in collaboration with the MCA for Abogeta Westward, Dennis Kiogora. It is my first time to fly out to board a plane internationally and locally. I've never been on a plane and I'm so excited about that. And it is not just Elosi who is over the moon. I really feel good, I'm happy and I'm grateful of her and for this kind of achievement. In fact, this was a, a dream. When she was very small, she was talking of the same and finally she has done it and I'm also very happy now as a parent. I feel a bit excited. I feel like missing her. Already? Because, <laughs> um, because she has been too close to me. Working in our locality here within Meru County, she always used to come during the weekend. We used to be together. Now that gap, for Elosi, this has been a long time coming. When I was a child, I always, I have a neighbor here who is in Canada. So every time she was around, I'd go visit her and envy her. I, I, I used to emulate her when I was a child because I wanted to be like her and go to America. It's been my dream since I was a kid. Which university are you going to and what are you going to study? I'm going to the University of South Florida to study Masters in Business Analytics and Information Systems. How do you expect this to help you in future, the studies? Uh, in America, worldwide, IT has become a very competitive course. The world is evolving. The future is IT. So once I finish this course, uh, I'm hopeful and I'm sure, I'm certain, God helping me, I'll get a good job. Elosi attended St. Teresa Primary School. She scored 418 marks in her Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams and joined Loreto High School in Limuru. After four years of hard work and determination, she managed to score an A of 81 points in her KCSE exams and proceeded to Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology for a bachelor's degree in procurement and contract management. Immediately after my graduation in 2016, that was in November 2016, uh, I got employment with uh, a local technical school institute here in Meru. It's at a place called Mitungu. Uh, from January 2017, I was there working as a procurement officer. While working there, Elosi learned of the opportunity to study abroad, an opportunity that Elosi wasn't going to let pass. I was working with Mheshimiwa's mom, DMK. He's one of the partners for the Kenya Airlift program. That's how I learned about the program and I joined it. So how exactly was she able to join? You have to have a B plus and above for the grade to join the, 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 the program. So I joined 
there's a circle, you pay, it's called a bogeta circle, Abed's, formed by DMK, the Mheshimiwa, the MCA. So you pay an entrance fee of a thousand bob, then you contribute a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings, which they, they top up, they give you kind of a loan uh, of the three times the contribution. So that's 300,000 shillings, which caters for all the relocation expenses. Like what and what? There's, there's an exam you do, so you have to study. You're given materials through the program. You get materials, the GMAT, it's called the GMAT exam. So you get materials, you get books, you study. Then you have to sit for an exam, which you have to score a mark of 550 and above, out of, a, out of 800, a possible 800. Bob Mwiti, the Florida-based IT enthusiast and the Abogeta West MCA Dennis Kyogora started the Education Airlift program in 2018 to assist young gifted Kenyans seeking master's programs in IT to get placements in American universities. They've partnered with a company in the US called Empower Financing. You apply for the loans, they give you the loan. Currently I have an approved loan of the equivalent of 2.5 million Kenyan shillings. After funding is sourced and admission is secured, the next step is the visa application process. So through Bob, he coaches you on the visa interview. The questions you expect to be asked and the answers you're supposed to give, the documents you're supposed to carry and all that. So the visa interview, while in this program, is very easy. It's almost 100% guarantee. Back to the D-Day journey, and after quick interviews at the homestead, the van carrying LOC and family drives off. And this will be etched in LOC's memory, not just taking off for studies abroad, but going to board a plane for the first time. The lush vegetation in this village is symbolic of the freshness this opportunity brings to Elosi's life with Mount Kenya in the background, standing tall as if to also say bye-bye to Elosi. On the way, we are joined by the Abogeta Ward MCA, Dennis Kiogora, who as mentioned earlier, is part of the Education Airlift Program. For LOC, this is a time to reflect and bond with her family and friends one last time before starting her new life in Florida. After five hours from Meru, we arrive in Nairobi and stop at Utawala for one last meal with LOC. At this moment, she still can't believe she'll be going into the world out there to begin a new life miles and miles away from her family. Wow, TikTok, TikTok, and from the restaurant, our next stop is JKIA. At the airport, LOC is joined by another beneficiary on a similar program, Nails Karani, who too is proceeding to USA for master's studies in IT. After final words of wisdom, it's time for LOC to depart. And there she is on the plane for the first time in her life with her colleague Nails Karani. The flight took them to Qatar, then from Qatar to New York, and then from New York to Tampa, Florida. They spent close to 20 hours in the air. They arrived on December 31st, 2019 to begin the new year in a new world, so to speak. And what a coincidence.
and to receive them was none other than Bob Mwiti, their mentor. From the airport, Bob was their host for one week before they joined their respective universities. Finally, LOC joined her university, that is, University of South Florida, where she will be undertaking her master's studies in business analytics and information systems. And we hope to revisit her daring abroad story at some point. <laughs>